Hey gang, Doc here from the eSigStop.com and today we're going to take a look at some tobacco juices and see if we can come up with something that actually is the taste of these. And I have, this is my favorite tobacco juice. It's Lasso, it's called Lasso. It's from Got Vapes. This is Vapor for Life's number seven. This is a Vapor for Life's Wow Cowboy No Backo uh, Premium Juice. Uh, it's also my second favorite tobacco juice. This is a Broad Street Tobacco from DFW Vapor. It's excellent. This is a Mad Vapes Top Vapor Decaying USA Mix. This is from vapage.com. It is their 555 and uh, it is the best 50, 555 that I've tasted so far. This is a Marlboro 18 from Smoke Tech and their Desert Ship from Smoke Tech. This is uh, VG Winston from Good Profits and uh, this is RY4 from uh, East Smoky Treats. And this is Vapor Boost and Throat Hit Plus from uh, the Vapor Pro. So what I've done is I've mixed this up. This is a 15 milliliter bottle and it has 20 drops of Throat Hit Plus. It has 8 drops of Vapor Boost. It has 1 quarter Lasso. It has 1 quarter Decang USA Mix from Mad Vapes. It has an eighth of Broad Street Tobacco from DFW Vapor. It has 4 drops of number seven from Vapor for Life. It has eight drops of Wow Cowboy from Vapor for Life. It has four drops of 555 from Vapage, four drops from Marlboro, and four drops of Devered Ship from Smoke Tech, four drops from Good Profits Winston, and two drops of RY4 all to try and make this flavor exactly. And I haven't smoked an analog in a long time. Uh, but I've been taking a couple of puffs to try and come up with this flavor. And I hate the smell but I sure would like to produce this flavor. I actually was a a camel smoker for a long time, but I have yet to find one that even comes remotely close to camel camelites. But I also like Marlboros, and this. I just took a couple drags off the Marlboro and now I'm going to vape my mix here. And I cannot tell the difference. It is exact. I cannot tell the difference between what I've mixed up and the and the Marlboro analog. And it's taken me a long time to get this mix. 
and I've used a lot of juice to get it this way. And I don't know if I'll be ever to reproduce this again. I have written everything down and so hopefully I can. But when you're experimenting you have a tendency to kind of lose track. I like all these juices by themselves. Like I said the the lasso from gotvapes.com, it is my favorite tobacco juice. Um, this number seven from Vapor for Life is definitely like an analog. Uh, the uh, the Wild Cowboy No Backo from Vapor for Life is also excellent. This uh, Broad Street Tobacco from DFW Vapor, this is a uh, this, this stands on its own. Uh, it's a great tobacco juice and uh, I like this from Mad Vapes, this decaying uh, USA mix and you know at Mad Vapes you can get just a huge bottle of juice and it's you know inexpensive. This 555 from vapeach.com um, I just got this and this is the best 555 I have ever tried. This Marlboro and the Desert Ship from Smoketech, S M O K T E K dot com. Uh, both of these are very good tobacco juices. Uh, this Winston from Good Profits is, is pretty good. It's, it definitely has that analog taste. Um, I really like this RY4 from uh, E Smoky Treats. And then the Vapor Boost and the Throat Hit Plus from uh, the Vapor Pro definitely give a little kick to just about any tobacco juice. So this is mine and uh, yeah it just cannot tell the difference. It tastes exactly like these Marlboro 100s. So anyway I thought I'd just show you the tobacco bonanza here and what I was trying to experiment with to try and get that analog taste. This is a 1.8 ohm atomizer. It's an I can vape atomizer just on uh, what a, it's a 3.7 box mod that I made. Um, I like it because it's nice and small and it's about the size of a lighter. So there it is. If you have any questions just uh, let me know in the forum. Thanks for watching. Stay on the vapor trail.